After being demonized to an absurd extent for the past century, cannabis is finally being decriminalized in more and more countries worldwide. Germany has officially legalized it, and for good reason. Cannabis is quite moderate in comparison to legal narcotics like alcohol, which will be responsible for one out of every 20 fatalities this year alone. Therefore, its detrimental consequences have been greatly exaggerated in order to support severe prosecution and punishment. There was a lot of opposition, of course, and something went wrong at this point. You may believe that marijuana has few, if any, negative side effects and practically solely positive effects if you've followed the conversation over the past few years. We were part of that story ourselves. This was exacerbated by the fact that illegality made it extremely difficult for researchers to examine cannabis, particularly its long-term effects. Studies frequently had to rely on tiny sample numbers, and they encountered legal and bureaucratic obstacles. This has finally begun to alter in recent years, therefore it's time to add fresh data to the debate. It's not pretty either. Cannabis does have a negative aspect, even though it is still far less dangerous than alcohol. We underestimated how addicting it is, and prolonged usage can have serious side consequences. Looks like, well, what are you doing? Please watch the video before you call us stupid. To be clear, we believe that cannabis should be legalized because prohibition is ineffective. However, this also implies that we must handle it as a medicine with distinct benefits and drawbacks. So let's examine some of the most recent research honestly. The strength of weed is increasing. Tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, is the magic ingredient in cannabis. It binds to your cannabinoid receptors, influencing different parts of your brain. THC produces a delightful concoction of feelings by stimulating certain areas and relaxing others. The stronger the high, the more THC there is. Additionally, it appears that individuals are interested of bigger highs. At least, this is what the market is offering. Over the past two decades, the amount of THC found in both legal and illicit cannabis products has more than doubled in the US, Canada, and Europe. Products like edibles or concentrates with more than 60% THC have grown in popularity as stronger strains are created. In the meantime, Fewer products now contain less than 15% THC. Unfortunately, higher amounts of THC exacerbate almost every issue that cannabis causes. Meanwhile, marijuana use is on the rise. In 2022, cannabis consumption surpassed alcohol consumption on a daily basis for the first time in the United States. It is now used by 26% of Canadians aged 16 and over, up from 22% in 2018. However, as studies are quite uneven and differ greatly among users, it is impossible to determine whether legalization is the cause of this. Some saw increases in consumption, while others saw no change. The trend toward increased cannabis usage started in the early 1990s and picked up speed in the 2000s, well before legalization. As a result, cannabis is stronger than ever and is consumed by more people now than it was a century ago. What does this result in for us? Let's begin with a topic that used to make you giggle uncontrollably. Addiction. Symptoms of weed addiction and withdrawal. One common misconception regarding marijuana is that it isn't addictive, or at least not that significant. And this is true for the majority of people. Research indicates that most people manage it effectively. For eight out of 10 people who use marijuana, it is only a mild high and not a problem at all. CUD or cannabis use disorder affects roughly 2 out of 10 users. The inability to quit when you've had enough, using it when you know it will have negative effects, 
tolerance, and withdrawal are just a few of the 11 signs of CUD. All of them can be boiled down to this. Even if it is unhealthy and less enjoyable than it could be, you are doing it too frequently. The amount of THC, the frequency of use, and the age at which you begin using cannabis are the three main risk factors in this case. Your risk increases with the amount of THC, frequency, and age at which you begin. Your life will suffer if you smoke marijuana too frequently and in excess. Toning it down a little will therefore make a great difference if this is you. One out of 10 users becomes seriously addicted. They typically use cannabis on a daily basis, and since they spend so much time consuming or recovering from it, their lives are severely hampered or held back. They require stronger cannabis or higher dosages, frequently both, as their brain is developing a tolerance. Numerous adverse effects were discovered by studies. Heavy users may feel irritated, restless, worried, depressed, paranoid, and in foul moods. In a tragic irony, many addicts believe they need marijuana to combat these symptoms. Perhaps it did at first, but in actuality, it only makes them worse and more enduring. Additionally, studies have shown a correlation between frequent cannabis usage and loneliness. You are more prone to use marijuana if you are lonely, and using marijuana can make you feel even more alone. Although it's not always clear which came first, they appear to support one another. Thus, on the one hand, cannabis significantly lessens the negative effects of loneliness. However, it might also cause you to retreat from friends and feel more socially uncomfortable than you actually are. A downward cycle that culminates in self-isolation and long-term loneliness may result from this. Another phenomenon that many heavy consumers encounter is mental numbness, which affects your brain's reward system and makes boredom seem acceptable. Good enough, but not outstanding. You can kill time by binge-watching mildly fascinating content during the day, not having enjoyment, but being numb. Your mind is telling you should learn something new or be creative when you're bored, but you're suppressing this. Your everyday activities suddenly seem dull and uninteresting, which makes it very tempting to resume them. This further complicates quitting. Your personal growth may also be hampered if you find yourself using frequently. Negative emotions are numbed, making it simple to ignore them. However, you can only overcome negative emotions in life if you truly experience them. And in order to develop, you must process them. Last but not least, let's discuss physical withdrawal symptoms. If you use frequently, they will get worse the more you use. Headaches, chills or sweating, a lack in appetite, and in extreme situations, fever, nausea, and stomach pain can all be symptoms of withdrawal. If you struggle to fall asleep, you may experience vivid, and unsettling dreams. You may experience depression as a result of the withdrawal, feeling as though life is meaningless and foolish. You may experience nervousness, anxiety, anger, or restlessness. You might feel completely helpless. Depending on how much and how long you have been using cannabis, these symptoms will start to lessen after a few days and eventually go away completely within a few weeks. Let's move on to the worst. Cannabis could harm your brain. Researching this subject was not enjoyable because there is intense disagreement among scientists over the detrimental effects of marijuana on the brain and whether or not it causes long-term, irreversible effects. As of now, there is no agreement and it is difficult to make any firm judgments. That being said, THC directly disrupts important brain chemistry. Evidence suggests that it might change its structure. If you depart after a few years, this can disappear once more. Or not, we're not sure yet. Although the effects differ greatly from person to person, 
Heavy users in particular face a number of potentially embarrassing drawbacks, the most prevalent of which is a marked deterioration in memory. Long-term excessive use can impair your intellect, perception, attention span, decision-making, language skills, impulse control, and learning capacity. After quitting, the majority of side effects appear to disappear or at least lessen over time. But more research is necessary because we simply don't know enough. The evidence that heavy marijuana use is detrimental to youth on several levels is considerably more obvious. You have many more years to accumulate potentially harmful side effects if you begin heavy use early. Teens who use marijuana frequently are far more prone to develop a cannabis addiction. Heavy marijuana users are more likely to perform poorly in school and have a lower likelihood of completing their education, albeit this may just be a correlation and not the root cause. Generally speaking, they are less content with their lives and accomplishments. This could just be because you have less fascinating experiences and forget the ones you do have if your motivation and memory are impaired. Additionally, there is compelling evidence that young users have a significantly higher chance of experiencing mental health problems such as schizophrenia, sadness, anxiety, or psychosis in the future. Once more, the risk increases with age, and it appears to increase significantly with high THC dosages, making extremely potent cannabis products especially worse for teenagers. Let's conclude now. The entire purpose of this video was to highlight the bad aspects. As previously said, marijuana in moderation is completely safe for the majority of individuals and far less dangerous than alcohol. We are not your parents. You do you. Another benefit of moderation is that it will make your experience more memorable and intense. However, smoking marijuana, especially frequently or in large quantities, is not a good choice for teenagers and can have life-altering effects. We are aware that criminalization didn't improve the situation. With legalization, we now have a fresh opportunity. Recognizing that marijuana is only one substance among many others and being forthright and honest about the current state of science are the first steps. Not by any means the worst one, however. However, at least one to three out of ten users find it bothersome. There is a time and place where you must experience cannabis, and that is when you are in your twenties. The science is clear. Don't do it if you're younger. Not yet anyhow. Later on, you'll have plenty of time to try new things. Sponsorship for Odoo. Now let's try something new. You may complete the first stage of launching a new company in three minutes with the aid of today's sponsor, Odoo, a business management program. You don't trust me? You will do it with me, and I'll wager you five ducks. By clicking this link, you can test Odoo for free. The initial version of the app is always free and offers limitless hosting and support. In order to guarantee our internet presence, let's choose the website application. After that, you simply follow these four simple steps to use the website configurator. What sort of website do you want to make first? It might be a blog, an event website, or a commercial website. I'll list learning platforms since, well, why not? What kind of project or business do you have and what is your objective? Science edutainment, I would say. My favorite step is number two. What colors do you prefer? Alternatively, you can just upload your logo and an AI will recommend a color scheme that goes with it. Step three involves selecting the various pages that you currently require. You simply select a website template in step four. That's it. You're ready to launch your business. You've taken the first significant step and you owe me five ducks. However, Odoo provides a lot more. 
all of your company's requirements are met on a single platform with apps like accounting, project management, and human resources. While Odoo increases productivity and adjusts to your needs and demands, you can concentrate on your project. Try it out. It will have the most impact on your dream in three minutes. A brief overview of the new special drop. We have delivered our most recent drop collection. Just in time for the holidays, place your order now. Although we at Kurzgesagt occasionally incite some light existential dread, the real reason is that we do it to motivate you. Therefore, we made these products to accomplish both. There are moments when the cosmos seems alien and frigid. However, that is untrue. We live in the universe. In addition to keeping you warm and comfortable, this knit sweater serves as a reminder that you are as much a part of the cosmos as a neutron star or a black hole. In actuality, dread and awe are two sides of the same coin or scarf. Bring some sunshine into the dreary season by wearing this incredibly soft scarf on chilly winter treks. The optimistic nihilist t-shirt, which epitomizes Kurzgesagt's worldview, is at the center of this collection. It's frightening to think that you might only have one chance at life. However, it also gives you the freedom to pursue your own happiness. In our studio, we also produce other genuinely unique items, such as the latest iteration of our human era calendar. We'll follow humanity's most epic voyage, which brought our ancestors from East Africa all across the world in 12,025. We put a lot of effort into making these events come to life and creating magnificent pictures that are appropriate for this significant chapter in our common past. To be especially organized for the upcoming year and this gift-giving season, add a brand new weekly desk planner. Your purchases help us to release our videos for free to everyone and support everything we do on our channel. I sincerely appreciate your help. Without you, Kurzgesagt wouldn't exist.